Hey, it's Jeremy here. I'm gonna be showing you how to use the eyedropper tool effectively so you know you can use your designs and use it very quickly. So we're gonna jump into Illustrator and you can see here I've got this white box here and I've got three squares. So these three squares have three different things. This one is a gradient. You can see it's made up of two colors. This one is just one flat color, as you can see here on the swatch. And this one has a gradient plus a drop shadow. So you can see here, and the drop shadow is added in the appearance panel here. So the eyedropper is super cool. The shortcut key is I on your keyboard. And you can see here your mouse will change to like an eyedropper. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna select our object. So I'm gonna select this white rectangle box. I'm going to press I for the eyedropper. And what the eyedropper does is pretty much any object or shape that you select, when you use the eyedropper, you can sample the style or color from another object. So I'm gonna click on this first one here. Boom, it sampled the gradient. But you can see here the gradient, it has a certain angle to it, but it didn't add the right angle. It just added the gradient. So I'm gonna have to go here, go to my gradient over here, change the angle to 90 degrees to get that same effect. I can also do the same for this one, select it. It's gonna add the flat color. I don't need to change anything because it doesn't have a gradient. And then third, we got this third red circle here. I'm gonna select it. So you can see the issue is that it had, didn't add the drop shadow. All it did was add the gradient in the right direction, as you can see there, and it added the stroke with the round corners, as you can see here, it's rounded off. So in order for us to get this option, what we have to do is you have to select this and go into your appearance panel and then do it this way. So if I go to stylize drop shadow and add the drop shadow like that. So that's the thing with the eyedropper. It's going to select your gradients, your colors, you know, your strokes and your great and all that stuff. But keep in mind that if you add extra effects, it's not going to add them in and you're going to have to do that customly. So I can select it and go back and select these other ones now. And you can see it's got that drop shadow there, but I can go back to my appearance panel here on the right hand side. You can see I'm going to turn it off. I'm also going to show you how to quickly select colors. So that's another cool thing you can use for the eyedropper tool for. As you can see, I've just got four squares here or rectangles. And what I like to do is when I find an image or something that inspires me with some nice color, I take a, a screenshot. And what I do is I just paste it in Illustrator. So what I'm going to do now is select this square, press the eyedropper tool. So press I and then go ahead and then just pretty much go select the colors I want. So yeah, it's a really quick way on how to make colors. So what I'll do, I'll select it. And then what I'll do is I'll go to my swatches panel here, select them all, click the folder and, and just call it new, whatever. And then what I usually do, I make them global colors and press okay. And then now I have all these colors in my swatch panel ready to use for, you know, any illustration or what I want to, whatever I want to do. That's a quick way on how to use the eyedropper. It's really effective and get used to using the shortcut eye and it's going to be good for selecting colors and graphic styles and just being really quick and efficient in Illustrator. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Hit that like button because it really helps me out. Also, leave a comment if this was, tutorial was helpful for you. And remember to subscribe for more design content every week.